Hi guys, welcome! This video is all about our lovely pets. We're gonna look into where to find each pet and what items we need in order to catch them. In addition, certain pets have different success rates. Some, especially those found at higher levels, might be harder to catch. In this video, I'm also gonna talk about strategies on how to catch pets for sure. Without further ado, let's dive into it! Let's first start with taming items. These items are used to either catch a new pet or to give to an existing pet to increase their intimacy. These can be obtained from the Endless Tower as a drop and can also be purchased from other players in the exchange. In addition, some taming items can be obtained from the Pet Material Merchant in Panthera South. However, we have to use Big Cat Coin in order to purchase and would have to level up our adventure class in order to unlock certain taming items. Once we have our taming item, we can proceed to catching our pets. In order to ensure a 100% success rate in catching pets, we'd have to give them a certain number of times before catching them. Every time we give them, the success rate increases. For example, here we have Isis. Once you press Use on the taming item, click Present first. In this scenario, I gifted Isis 5 taming items first before catching her. This ensures that once I press Catch, I'll be able to catch her for sure. The number of gifts needed per pet varies and we'll identify this as we go along each pet. Let's first start with the basic pets, the Pouring. This is everyone's first pet and can be found in Pantera South Gate, the Labyrinth Forest, and Pantera North. You would need the green apple in order to catch this pet. The success rate is pretty high in catching the Pouring. However, in the off chance that luck isn't on our side, we'd have to give two green apples first before catching it to ensure a 100% success rate. Next, we have the Lunatic. This can be found in Pantera South Gate and the Labyrinth Forest. You would need the Rainbow Carrot in order to catch this pet. When you are catching a pet, you have to click the monster first. However, if your auto attacks are long range, there is a tendency to hit the monster when you click it, causing it to die. The trick is to click on the monster at a distance. That way, the monster is beyond your auto-attack range and you can position your character to cancel the auto-attack. For the Lunatic, we'd need two Rainbow Carrot Gifts then another one for catching to ensure a 100% success rate. Next, we have the Yo-Yo. This can be found in Pantera Westgate and the Labyrinth Forest. You would need the Tropical Banana in order to catch this pet. For the yo-yo, we'd need 3 tropical banana gifts and 1 banana for catching. Next, we have the mandragora seed. This can be found in the labyrinth forest. However, in order to see this, we'd have to purchase a 6 cents potion first. Open your map and watch out for the vine logos. This may take a few minutes to pop out. Once you see it, go to the area and talk to the mandragora NPC. You will then have to defeat the guards first before the Mandragora Seed will spawn. For the Mandragora Seed, you would need the Nutrition Potion in order to catch it. To ensure a 100% success rate, give it 4 presents first, then use one for catching. Next, we have the Desert Wolf Baby. This can be found in Morok. However, unlike other pets which spawns as farmable mobs, this one is quite rare and is only level 5. So again, be careful in setting the target for this pet as one auto-attack can easily kill it. You would need the well-dried bone in order to catch this pet. You would need to give 3 presents and use one taming item to catch it for sure. Next, we have Isis. She can be found in the first floor of the pyramid. We would need the Armlet of Obedience in order to catch this pet. As we saw earlier, we'd need to give 5 armlets and then have one for catching. Next, we have the Savage Babe. This can be found in Payon. Similar to the Desert Wolf, this one also spawns individually. However, its location is easier to find as it's always near Claudia at the Payon town proper. We would need sweet milk in order to catch this pet. For the Savage Babe, give it two presents and use one catch item for a 100% success rate. Next, we have the Sohi. This can be found in the second and third floors of the Pion Cave. We would need the Silver Knife of Chastity in order to catch this pet. 
This pet is so so cute but her taming item is hella expensive. Current market prices is more than a million zenny each. For the Sohi, we'd need 6 presents and 1 item for catching. Next, we have the Deviruchi. This can be found in the Geffen Dungeon, the Glassheim Chivalry, and the underground Geffen second floor. We would need the contract in Shadow in order to catch this pet. Give it 5 presents and use one for catching to ensure he'd be captured. Next, we have the Green Petite. This can be found in the Glassheim outskirts. We would need the Shining Stone in order to catch this pet. Give it 5 presents and use one for catching. In this clip, I tried my luck and only used one item to try to catch it. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Since the taming item is expensive as well, I'd rather collect the number of items needed next time before proceeding to catch the pet. And lastly, we have the Baphomet Jr. This can be found in the Glassheim Hall and the Glassheim Wing. The Glassheim Hall is located at the upper portal of Glassheim. We would need the Book of the Devil in order to catch this pet. Similar to the Sohi, we need 6 presents and 1 taming item for catching. Since the catch rate is by chance, of course it's possible to catch your pets without gifting them the certain number of times explained in this video. However, for those who are more on the cautious side, I hope this video was helpful in knowing how much taming items you'd need for that 100% success rate. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.